Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, Hudson Police seek the public's help solving suspicious fire case. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Ray Brewer. Springtime in New Hampshire and new beginnings are happening all around us. At Lovering Mitsubishi, we're celebrating two new beginnings, starting with the all-new 2018 Eclipse Cross with modern styling and tech. Mike, no one was injured in this fire and the damage was minimal, but the Hudson police also say there's no doubt that somebody set this fire. Fireline tape is still up at 57 Boyd Street telling people to not uh, enter the property. Around 5 p.m. on April 26, firefighters responded and quickly put out the fire, the fire burning a banister and some items on the front lawn. While no trace of any accelerant was found, police say the day before there had been a heavy rain that would have soaked the items in the banister. The fire also appears to have started several feet off the ground, which police say is suspicious. Hoping anybody in the area of Boyd Road uh, near the Lindary Line around 5 o'clock on April 26 may notice a suspicious car, somebody walking in the area, or anything it just didn't seem normal that day. Now, Hudson police say that if you think you know anything, even if it seems insignificant, they would appreciate a call. And you can always remain anonymous by calling the crime line at 594-1150. Reporting live in Hudson, Ray Brewer, WMUR News Now. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Man stabbed to death in broad daylight in Boston. Let's take a listen to the video from WMTW, WC, sorry about that, WCVB, Boston. Join us at the Hunt's 17th Annual Imaging Expo and Sale, May 11th and 12th, Melrose, Massachusetts. Let's go have a look at what we do at this show. All our manufacturers will be here with event pricing and... And Emily, witnesses say the stabbing happened just on the other side of a blue dumpster. You see it there. As you can see, police and a cleanup crew on scene right now, four hours after this fatal stabbing. Police were called to the area of 112 Southampton Street, which is a homeless shelter. The victim was a resident of the shelter, according to an employee who spoke on the condition of anonymity. And now a homicide investigation is underway after the man was stabbed to death and started bleeding out in the street. First one on site was our walk-in beat here, who uh, seen a male in his early 50s suffering from a leg wound. Um, he, he rendered first aid. They got him off the BMC, and unfortunately, he was declared deceased. I've just seen him three days ago. He had a black eye. He sleeps in the shelter. He's, he's an addict like all of us, and then this happened. He was a good man. He was a God-fearing man. At this point, police have not made any arrests. They're asking for the public's help. There's no official word on a motive, but several witnesses say this is all about drug money. The victim's name has not been released. Reporting live in Boston, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5. Police. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Man killed in crash on Route 26 in Gray. A 72-year-old man from Wells was killed in a crash on Route 26 in Gray Tuesday morning, according to the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office. The crash was reported about 7.30 a.m. near the intersection of Route 26 and Mayberry Road. Deputies said the car Richard Stoke 
was driving went off the road and hit a tree. He was pronounced dead at the scene, officials said. The cause of the crash is under investigation, but officials said they do not believe speed or alcohol were factors in the crash. The crash remains under investigation. Route 26 was down to one lane for several hours. And now let's take a look at your U.S. stock market and see how your U.S. stock market closed for this Tuesday evening. And here's a look at your U.S. stock market right now. Your Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in the green and went up. Your NASDAQ closed in the green and went up. S&P 500 closed in the red and went down. CNBC IQ 100 closed in the green and went up. Gold closed in the green and went up. Oil closed in the red and went down. U.S. 10-year closed in the green and went up. Euro slash USD closed flat. And VIX closed in the red and went down. Stocks close little changed after Trump decision to pull U.S. from Iran nuclear deal. Stocks closed little changed on Tuesday after President Donald Trump announced he was withdrawing the U.S. from the Iran nuclear deal signed three years ago. Trump announced U.S. withdrawing from Iran nuclear deal. Let's take a listen to the video from ABC News. The Iran deal is defective at its core. If we do nothing, we know exactly what will happen. In just a short period of time, the world's leading state sponsor of terror will be on the cusp of acquiring the world's most dangerous weapons. Therefore, I am announcing today that the United States will withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal. In a few moments, I will sign a presidential memorandum to begin reinstating U.S. nuclear sanctions on the Iranian regime. We will be instituting the highest level of economic sanction. Any nation that helps Iran in its quest for nuclear weapons could also be strongly sanctioned by the United States. America will not be held hostage to nuclear blackmail. We will not allow American cities to be threatened with destruction. And we will not allow a regime that chants death to America to gain access to the most deadly weapons on Earth. Today's action sends a critical message. The United States no longer makes empty threats. When I make promises, I keep them. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday night, and I'll see you back here tomorrow with another newscast. I'll have a news report later on this evening. Good night, everyone. Bye.